Satellite radar shows we've still got some energy off the coast, giving quite a bit of rainfall that way. But here at home, we're drying things up and actually heating up as well. Now that we're seeing a bit more sunshine out, look a little bit closer here. We've got mostly sunny skies across a good bit of the upstate. Still some high clouds that are thinning out the sunshine's impact on us. So we're not as hot as we should be this time of the year, but still warming up. And just a few spotty showers across Transylvania, back through Haywood and Jackson County. Madison County seeing some showers, but overall pretty nice. This kind of tells the story from our Spartanburg sky cam. We've got a few clouds out, but otherwise sunny 86 degrees, a bit warmer than yesterday, but still tolerable. I mean, this time of the year we should be around 90 and we know that humidity can be so tough this time of the year. 85 degrees and Anderson feels like 87 An east southeast wind. Now our winds are changing around. It was northeast. Now it's east southeast and eventually it's about to be back out of the south, which will warm us back to near 90. It's 85 in Greenville, 86 in Spartanburg and it's 77 right now in Asheville. Tonight will be very pleasant. With drier air in place, we will cool down to some comfortable readings. 63 in Spartanburg, 67 in Greenville. Look at Asheville showing off at 59 degrees, 59 in Cullowee. It's going to be a comfortable start to the day, but then warm up quickly tomorrow. A beautiful Friday on the way, a mix of sun and clouds back closer to 90 degrees. Uh, can't rule out a stray shower or a thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon, but most of us remaining dry. Same story in the mountains. We'll start off in the upper 50s and near 60, warm to the lower 80s with about a 20% chance of a storm. We'll call it a high of 87 in Greenville, 86 in Anderson and 83 degrees in Asheville. Now looking ahead, we've got a few spotty showers in the mountains. We'll see things calm down tonight and start off with a little bit more sunshine tomorrow. As the day goes on, can't rule out some spotty showers. Again, our winds coming out of the east, southeast and eventually the south. Late tomorrow into Saturdays when things change for us. A stalled out frontal boundary will be on top of us and that will lead to some spotty showers at any given time on Saturday. I know the timing's not great here with it being the weekend, but I don't expect it to be a washout, but do know that even in the morning hours, we could have some showers here or there, and then some thunderstorms possible by the afternoon hours, and some of those storms could pack a punch with gusty winds and frequent lightning on Saturday. But again, it's going to be hit or miss, a good chance of it, 50 to 60%, but it's not going to be an all-day event, and Sunday does look to be a lot drier. Looking ahead, though, into next week, the outlook calls for well above average temperatures and near-normal precipitation looks like summer comes back in a big way. Four day looks like this 86 tomorrow, mostly sunny skies, a 60% chance of rain on Saturday. Again, not an all day event, but a good chance you'll see a storm at some point. 85 for a high. We're back to 89 on Sunday with more sunshine. Then we're drying things out a bit and heating up. Lower 90s continue into much of next week. Western North Carolina, same story. Lower 80s the next couple of days, warming up to near 90 by next week.